my vote counts. And our Best fashion show. Team. Australian tag team match. Columbus Cruncher stepping through the ring, remaining in the ring, Jeremy Madrox going up against Fontaine and Jervis Cottonbelly. The most gentlemanly tag team, whoop, most gentlemanly tag team in professional wrestling. All this talk about Marion what about Madrox and I want to remind everybody of the mustache competition. Fontaine using awful strong language for him. The man is a gentleman. Both men complaining about their mustaches instead of wrestling. Madrox putting up the dukes. Let's see. Oh, looks like he's met. Whoa, Fontaine coming in. Now tagging in the cruncher. We don't know anything. He could have an excellent mustache under that mask, but we won't know. Instead, Fontaine gets him with a buggy whip arm drag, goes around for a waist lock, comes into a Swedish cravat, 
tags out to Jervis Cottonbelly, who steps through the ropes, grabs the man in an arm twist. Cottonbelly and Fontaine both having spent lots of time in England, I believe Cottonbelly is actually from England, Fontaine from the USA, but has done lots of training in England. Up the cruncher goes to, goes to the ropes. Cotton Belly cuts him off. Fontaine spending his time in the uh, hybrid martial art known as Bar Titsu, which combines fisticuffs, this new art called Japanese Jiu Jitsu, and cane fighting, as called Lacan from the French language. Cotton Belly instead spending some time in the gyms of Wigan studying under Billy Joyce. There's a small a little known phrase in the wrestling business, if he's from Wigan, he's a biggin, and that's exactly what Cottonbelly is. Majorox not impressed with the pedigree of Cottonbelly, gets him in a top wrist twist. Majorox the butcher, he's known, <clears throat> excuse me ladies and gentlemen, a bit of a frog in my throat. Majorox is known as the butcher, that's why he's actually a meat cutter in his spare time, but he also trains by going into the refrigerated rooms and pummeling the sides of beef with his fist in order to strengthen his fist and wrist for the impacts of professional wrestling. Caught in a hammerlock, who caught and belly through the ropes, but I believe he may have ta tagged out to Fontaine, referee allowing him in. I'm not sure Madrox knows what happened there. Oh, Fontaine comes in, a very gentlemanly hip toss, hits the ropes, up and over the top, hits him with an arm drag, up with the fisticuffs, Madrox begging into the corner, the referee pulling him out, conferring with the cruncher. Little known about the Columbus cruncher, claims to be from parts unknown, but obviously he has some connection to that city, if that's what is going to be his name. Madrox taking exception to what happened there. Yes, I can! Bullets! I promise I can do that! Oh, looks like he's going to attempt the same arm drag that Fontaine had just given him. He's assured everybody that he's able to perform this difficult maneuver after having experienced it once. Let's see what Madrox is up to here. Oh, Fontaine instead passes him by, passes him by twice, passes him by three times. Looks like Madrox uh, may not have the uh, best game plan here. And now the cruncher coming in. Looks like a little... Do -si do here, and now tags out to Cotton Belly while Madrox and the Cruncher are still hitting the ropes. Not, not sure they're aware that their opponents are watching them. Fans chanting hurrah. Oh, looks like caught him with, the Cruncher caught his own partner with a shoulder block, and now Cotton Belly bowing to the crowd. Cruncher hits Jervis in the breadbasket with a vicious blow. Now hooks him up in a standing vertical suplex. Oh no! Bends him over the top rope. Referee certainly has to get in and check on this. Those ropes are not treated. Those are raw hemp. We could be looking at a severe burn right now. Hooks the leg of Cotton Belly, who kicks out. The Cruncher picks him off the mat. Now this Cruncher, don't know a lot about him, but I have seen him in action before. He's a vicious, vicious man. Ooh, Madrox. There's those blows we were talking about earlier. Those are those fists that were conditioned against the frozen sides of beef. And now the Cruncher wants to come in, attempting to crunch a rib. Ooh. Cotton Belly is in the wrong side of town here. Fontaine. Fontaine wishing to step in, but of course he's uh, adhering to the rules of this contest. He's had enough, tries to alert the referee as to what's going on, said, excuse me, sir, could you please rectify that situation? The referee distracted, but Madrox able to capitalize. Now tags back out to the cruncher. This is not good for Cotton Belly at all. Ooh. Takes a blow to that stomach. The cruncher just coming in. They're really working on that midsection. Now has him with that vicious claw. Looks like he's attempting to crunch the midsection of Cotton Belly, who's wilting down under the viciousness of this assault. Fontaine reaching in for the tag, but Cotton Belly is still a mile away. Oh, series of elbows to the side of the mask of the cruncher. Oh, 
Again, back to that bread basket. Going for the cover. Hooks that leg. This could be it. No, Cotton Belly out. He needs a tag really bad. And now, oh, I believe he's biting him. More insult than injury there, but it's enough. Cotton Belly not able to reach for the tag. Back to the corner. Madrox. Is he going to tag? Nope, just telling the referee he's not touching the man. There's the tag we were looking for. Now Madrox steps through the ropes. Cotton Belly still on the wrong side of town. Fontaine arguing between his sense of honor and his desire to help his partner. He's still on the corner on the outside. Madrox with a series of covers. Not enough to put the polite man away. Axe handle to the small of the back. Rolls him over. Could be going for a cover. No. Hits him with a axe handle that already weakened midsection. Jervis needs a tag. He spent a lot of time in that ring. Now the cruncher coming in. This could be it. Looks like... Thought there was going to be a double team maneuver just working him over. Cotton Belly ducks through, knocks him in together, tags out to Fontaine who's been waiting on the outside. Introduces himself kindly to society. Thank you, sir. Picks them both up. Takes them both down in a bulldog. Surprised we didn't see one of those from Gregor Iron earlier. The cruncher discombobulated in the corner. Both men setting up. Very polite set of uh, bottom blows there as the cruncher and Madrox both wilt to the mat. Fontaine and Cottonbelly gesturing to the ringsiders there. They like what they've seen. They're shouting hurrah and huzzah. Looks like they're going to go for a second round. Ooh, caught by Madrox and the cruncher. They saw that coming. Back on top, coming through. Got a little do si -do. Ducks round. Looks like a set of simultaneous backslides. Two and three. Ladies and gentlemen, the most well-behaved team in professional wrestling, Marion Fontaine and Jervis Cottonbelly, coming out victorious here at the Huron County Fairgrounds in the Pickworth Hippodrome. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Jacob Clemens has awarded this contest due to double horizontal pinfall to the team of Jervis Cottonbelly.